How can we calculate the average translational kinetic energy of 50 gas molecules at 400 Kelvin? Well, let's start with this formula. The average kinetic energy is going to be 3 over 2 kT, where k is Boltzmann's constant. Now, this equation gives you the kinetic energy in joules per molecule. Now pay attention to the units. Boltzmann's constant is 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23 joules per Kelvin per molecule. And the temperature is 400 Kelvin. So we can see that the unit Kelvin will cancel. And so if we take 3 times 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 times 400 divided by 2, this will give us 8.28 times 10 to the negative 21 joules per single molecule. And in this problem, we have 50 molecules. So we could cancel the unit molecules, and this will give us the final answer, which is 4.14 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And so that's it for this problem. Now, what about this problem? What is the average translational kinetic energy of 8 moles of gas molecules at 500 Kelvin? So here's the formula that you need. It's going to be 3 over 2 nRT. So n is the number of moles. In this case, we have 8 moles of gas. R is 8.3145, and the units are joules per mole per Kelvin. And the temperature is 500 Kelvin. So always pay attention to the units. So we can see that the unit Kelvin will cancel, and the unit moles will cancel. So we're going to get the average kinetic energy in joules. So it's going to be 3 times 8 times 8.3145 times 500 divided by 2. And so this is going to be 49,887 joules. Now let's talk about how we can derive the first equation from the second. So let's start with this formula. The average kinetic energy is 3 over 2 nRT. Now n the number of moles is equal to capital M, which represents the number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number, which is the ratio between molecules and mole. So capital N has the unit molecules. Avogadro's number is 6 times 10 to the 23 molecules per single mole. So when you divide those two together, the unit molecules will cancel leaving behind the unit moles. And so let's replace lowercase n with capital N over Na. So this is going to be 3 over 2 times the number of molecules times R over Na. Now R over Na will give you Boltzmann's constant. So Boltzmann's constant, represented by the symbol K, is R over Na. So R is 8.3145 joules per mole per Kelvin. And Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules per mole. So we could cancel the number of moles. And then 8.3145 divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23. That's equal to 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. And the units are joules per Kelvin per molecule. So that's the value of Boltzmann's constant. So let's replace R over Na with that. So now we have this equation. The average translational kinetic energy is 3 over 2 nKT. 
Now, if you want to find the average kinetic energy for one gas molecule, where n is 1, then that will give you this equation. So this is the kinetic energy for a single gas molecule. But if you have multiple gas molecules, then this is going to be the kinetic energy for many gas molecules. It's important to understand the units for these two equations. For the first equation, your answer is going to be joules per molecule. So that's the energy per single molecule. And then here, since you already incorporated the number of molecules, this will simply be the total energy in joules. So you can use either equation. In fact, you could use this for the first problem that we had at the beginning. For the first problem, there were 50 gas molecules. Boltzmann's constant is still the same. And the temperature was 400 Kelvin. So if you multiply 3 times 50 by 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 times 400 divided by 2, this will give you the same answer of 4.14 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And so that's it for this video.